Do a quick breakdown of ASAP Rocky's new bottle from Mercer and Prince, his latest whiskey. Let's check it out. I hate this design because you've got a glass bottle with a plastic lid and a plastic base, both unsnap from the bottle and they act as glasses for you to drink out of, but they're not glasses, they're plastic. So who wants to drink whiskey out of a plastic cup that's not even a solo cup? Uh, let's get an even closer look at this snapping mechanism. This section right here, that is where it snaps. There's an undercut. So the glass actually comes out in a male formation and the cup part comes up and has to snap over it. In order to do that, it has to be flexible enough to pull away from the glass and then pull back in uh, in order to snap in place. Glass doesn't work that way. Glass breaks if you put that type of pressure on it. So it has to be plastic. Let's get an even closer look at what this looks like when you take it apart. Let's imagine that you want to drink out of this cup for whatever reason. Once you've poured your product in there, you go to drink it. If you're going to drink from the flat side, there's that little notch right there, which means that the whiskey is going to be pouring out and it's going to create a little speed bump before it hits your mouth. It's going to go this way, which will be great for you to dribble all over yourself. Now, if you want to turn it like a diamond and drink out of the corner, if you ever drink it out of a corner of a product, it's not the greatest. Uh, think back to when you were in elementary school, you were drinking out of those little milk cartons. It's not the greatest experience uh, in terms of mouthfeel. That's why glasses are round because it curves around your mouth and it's, the product is really impacted by the delivery. So let's take a look at this label. The label is pretty awesome. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this green color against the brown of the whiskey itself. Um, when it comes through that, the Mercer and Prince die cuts happening on the label there, the color doesn't really pop out as much, uh, but you do have this really cool foil stamp on top and bottom with that plus cross symbol in the middle. Uh, so pretty interesting stuff happening there, but from a structural design, the bottle and those two end caps are definitely not a winner for me. Would you buy this product for the packaging? 